So here we are, uh, Mead's Quarry yeah. in Knoxville, Tennessee. The bugs are loud. I apologize. Hi. We have Hi. Uh, the magnet fishing. Um, yeah. We're going to try it for the first time. We were here yeah. last time when we were here for the first time. Yeah. And we saw multiple, pe multiple people lose their phones and mm -hmm. things like that off the dock. Yeah. So we thought this would be a good place for us to try it for the first time. Yeah. So we took the drone out just a few minutes ago, got some good shots, got permission to do that. Mm. Now we're going to see if we can find anything in the water. So wish us luck. Worst case scenario, we'll just do some fishing. Or swimming. Yeah, Probably water. swimming. Yeah. Probably swimming. swimming. Busier than I thought it was going to be here. So um, we may have some people down there with us. But, you know, it should be a good time. Peace. See ya. We got a woodland home, uh, just an Amazon special here. I think we've got, I forget how many feet, 50 to 75, I think 50 feet or something like that, a rope. We have uh, an 880 pound magnet. Um, we obviously won't need that much here, but we're gonna toss it in and uh, see if we find anything. Think we'll find anything? <laughs> that's all we got right there. Simple as that. You hook up the, here we are on the top here. Make sure you screw this down. That way we don't lose this thing at the bottom. You don't want to run it too close to the dock because I don't know what we've got for metal um, braces or anything at this dock too. And we don't want to get it lost underneath where we can't pull it back up. We're going to tie this down just in case and we'll drag it. All right, first toss in. See if we can get it on this side, huh? Mm -hmm. Deeper than I thought. Finally hit the bottom. This looks like almost 30, 30 feet down right here. Look. Oh, that's a good one. All metal. Yeah, all these pieces of metal down on the bottom. I definitely snagged something on this one. Just felt a small clink at least. And there it is. Well, first catch. Set of car keys. All right, so we got a Chrysler. Um, I'm sure the Maker model. And they look like they've been down there a little bit. Quite faded. Um, but maybe they were faded beforehand. Uh, put them in lost and found at least. See if anybody wants them. Got a lot of debris mostly here. Broken metal. Rusted pieces. Okay. So, a little bit of thunder and lightning, so we had to cut it short. A phone had died, but on our last cast, another set of car keys. We got a Ford and a house key, so um, we are going to try to find uh, the owner of this one. This doesn't look like it's been in there that long. Two sets of car keys. Um, we got a bunch of metal fragments um, that we're going to go through um, and see if any of that is uh, jewelry or anything like that, but most of it's uh, muddied up and crusty. So that's why we're out. Um, overall success, but I definitely want to get a bigger magnet. Um, there was a lot of stuff that it was not able to pick up. Um, it might have been chains or something, I don't know, because um, it was very long and it seemed like it was dragging some of it, but it wouldn't pull anything to the surface. So I'm going to purchase a bigger magnet and we'll go from there, uh, see if we can find some crazier stuff down there. I bet we'll find a lot more of this, probably a couple phones. Pretty excited about it. I locked the door. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Say bye. I'm right now. Bye.